Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use Power Query to transform some of your text in your columns. So we have this range of data here. I want to transform some of these texts. Maybe they're all in uppercase. I want to make them lowercase and whatnot. And near closer to the end of the video, I'll also show you how to transform the header information. There's actually some transformations you can do. It's going to involve a little bit of the M code, but it's not that difficult. So let's bring this into Power Query. Go to Data. And from table and range, it's not going to, this is not set up as a table yet, but Power Query will want to create a table. My first row are headers, so it's going to select that. Click OK. And the Power Query editor comes up. And this is where now we can do some of our transformation. Let's say I, these are all uppercase. Maybe I don't want the stock symbols to be uppercase. I can right select that column, right click, transform, make that all lowercase. And so there, these are all now lowercase. Well, what if my usernames, I don't want them as lowercase, I want uppercase. Do the same thing here. And instead of right clicking, maybe I can go into the transform tab to show you that we can also do it via this route. Under transform tab, it's format, and I can select uppercase here. Uh, another option is to change the case, have the first, first word in the letter for that case. So select credit card, right click, and in here, we can call that, we can use transform again, and we're going to capitalize each of the words, right? So now they're all capitalized. Another thing we can do is replace date, replace text. So I have this hash mark here. Maybe I don't want that hash mark. And I will right click, go under uh, replace values, and under the replace values, select that hash mark and replace it with a space. So I'll just enter a space there, click OK and I have my spaces there. Another thing maybe we want to do is don't have those underscores there. And so that's the same thing as this one. Instead of uh, reducing the, uh, removing the special characters, we can select that, go into transform, uh, under the replace values, click that. And instead of having the underscore, maybe we do want a space, click the space key, or if we want to replace those with special characters, we can also replace them with special characters, like a tab or carriage return, but I'm not going to select that. I just want to have a space, click OK, and now that's all there. Sometimes when we get files, we have those spaces, like I just, the one I just created here, and we don't want that. We want to get files, or we want to have records in cells that don't have a leading space, the space before it, we also don't want trailing spaces, any spaces after it. We just, if it's a uh, two words, then that's fine, the space in the middle. But having many trailing, leading, and trailing spaces, not probably not good afterwards. So what I can do is trim it. And there is a trim function, very similar to in Excel, you have the trim function. So I'll select that under transform, format, and there's this trim function here. It's going to get rid of the space before and after. Now, if I wanted to change the column names, I can also do that, right? I can say, maybe I want to have the credit card, instead of having that space there, I want to have a underscore, like the rest of my columns here, right? So I have this underscore here. So there's not really specific functions that you can find in the ribbon that I've seen that let you change the header field names wholesale, like all at once, right? You have to go into each one, double click it and change it. But if you go into the M code, you can actually do a little bit more. So in the first example, I'll show how you could do it going in using the advanced editor option. And the other way, we'll, use, we'll just do it right in here in the formula bar. So if we go into the advanced editor option, we can see that these are all the steps. I'll move this around here, right? So these steps and this first one here, the, this first set here, they correspond with the applied steps here. You can see that the names match. So what we want to do is add an additional step. So for example, let's say that I want to change, let me close that. I want to change all of these to lowercase. So let's say we can do that, or maybe uppercase. Go into the advanced editor, home, advanced editor, and we need to change this. So a couple of things to notice here. In the M query, in these set of steps, the last step here is always kind of like a repeat of the last step. It's always going to call the last step here. So that's going to match. And also the last step is not going to have a comma. You can see there's commas here, there's a comma here, there's a comma here. So we're going to add a comma, press enter, 
and we are going to give this step a new name. So to give it a name, hash, and we will call this upper, because I'll make this all uppercase. All right. So that step, in quotes, equals, so we want to ch transform the column names. There's a function called table dot transform, and where we see column names. Click that. Open parentheses. We have to recall this last step. Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and the other M code function we're going to use is we want to change the text. So we're going to change the text to uppercase. So it's going to be text dot upper. Let's see if it finds it. Yep, it found it here. Click that. And this last set here is got to say upper. I'll just type it in instead of copy and paste. Click that. No syntax errors have been detected because I didn't put a comma here, so that's fine. Click done. Now we'll see that all our column headers are capitalized. You can do the same thing for lowercase. You can just use text.lower instead of text.upper. Now, what if we wanted to get rid of these underscores? I'll show you a different way. Instead of going into the advanced editor, let's use the add step option here. So I'm going to add a step. Click on that. It's added this step name, custom1. We can change that later, but I'll just keep it as custom1 right now. And we're going to use the same function, table.transformColumnNames. So I'll type table.transform. And if I click on column names here, it's going to get rid of my upper. So I I'll, I'll, won't worry about that right now. I'll just retype that back in. Double click that. And you'll notice that it kind of gives you a nice explanation of this function. So I can scroll up and down. It gives you a description, the parameters to enter, and examples. So that's kind of nice that Excel, uh, Power Query have done this. It takes two arguments, but I'm going to add a, an additional M function in here because I want to change that underscore, all the, all the examples of that underscore. So open parentheses. We have to recall the last um, command. So that's going to be hash. And then in the quotes, upper. And what is my second argument? Well, my second argument is where I need to replace every instance of that underscore. So this is going to be a, another function that I have to use. But I want to use this function at every instance that it finds that underscore. So we have to use something called each. So what it's going to do here, it's going to look for each of the, the each of the values that it can find that this function can be used it will execute that function. So the function that we want to do is replace. We want to replace any instance of underscore. So replacer, here we replacer dot replace text. So in this function, we're going to open it up. So we're going to find all, all instances, that's an underscore, underscore uh, comma, and very appropriate that it's an underscore comma, all instances of this particular character, underscore. So we're going to find all instances of underscore, let me move over to the end of that quote. Replace it with a space. So it's basically a space inside the quotes. Press enter. And now those underscores that I added that, that were there, like for that I added for credit card and that were there for column six to whatever, maybe I think those was column 30, those have disappeared. So I can just close and load. And I've done all the text transformations that I wanted, loaded onto the worksheet click close that and we can see that we've done a lot of transformations on the text and this is just using Power Query. Now this is kind of nice because if you had a big file this makes it much easier and quicker to do. So that's how you can do some text transformation in not only your rows here but also in your headers. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.